with this Yankees team and that lineup that we looked at, we talked about it being whole. And I think they find, and they haven't been able to say that yep. a lot this season. So, Flash, they go into that game feeling healthy, feeling whole, and saying, let's get after it. Yeah, they did exactly what they had to do up in Boston. And to your point, the lineup started to swing the bat a whole lot better. But the next time the Yankee players will get to Yankee Stadium will be on Tuesday for a workout. You get all your playoff sweatshirts, and you could be able to go through the motions and relax and have a good time knowing that Wednesday night, Yankee Stadium will be off the hook again like it was last year. The Yankee fans really stepped up during the postseason last year. The Yankee players fed off of the excitement, the intensity. That's what they're looking forward to Wednesday night. Yeah, let's be honest. We spent the last two weeks or so talking about whether or not the Yankees could get that home field advantage. So let's not underestimate it. John is absolutely right. If they had not held off the Oakland A's, they'd be getting on a plane. Well, they, maybe they would take a pit stop at New York, but they'd be heading 3,000 miles to Oakland. Now they go from Boston back to New York. They know they're going to be home for a few days. They know they're playing in their stadium where they were 53 and 28 this season. And I think, Bob, you bring up a great point about the lineup. The fact that they're going to have everybody in there, including their new additions, McCutcheon and Voigt, guys who feel like they have been here a lot longer than a month or two months, depending on which one we're talking about. And I think they go into that game with a ton of confidence. As good as Oakland is, as good as the uh, Oakland's bullpen is, I still think the Yankees feel even more confident about their own situation. You know, one of the things, <clears throat> excuse me, that you do as a player when you're getting ready for the postseason, you look around the clubhouse and you start thinking to yourself, who's going to be the guy that's going to be the hero, either Wednesday night or moving forward? Is it going to be a Luke Voigt who's riding this wave and enjoying every minute of it? Stan, we're going to break down every at bat, every pitch as a New York Yankee in the postseason for the first time. Will he be the guy? So the fans are doing it, the media is doing it, but the players in the clubhouse are also looking around saying, who's going to step up? You know, the pitching situation to me is interesting, too. The Yan Yankees don't have a bad option in the three guys they're looking at. And for the A's, if they hold what people think they're going to do, start the opener, in a, let's say, a Liam Hendricks, and then go to Mike Fires. How does that play out? It's interesting. It's baseball in 2018. It's kind of weird to think that a guy who might start a postseason game isn't going to be out there very long and he knows that I think if you're the Yankees your approach has to be the same your approach has been all season I abide by the David Cohn school of pitching and this is even if you're hitting go with your strengths go with what works for you if you get too bottled up and worrying about what they're trying to do to you I think you can clutter your mind if you're a guy who likes to hit fastballs will go up there and try and hit fastballs if you're McCutcheon and you're a patient hitter be as patient as long as you can be I think the Yankees the last couple couple of weeks have shown what kind of team they can be and I think that they head into that game feeling they can win those nine innings and see Boston again on Friday. Well we talk so much about the players but if this game is going to be a bullpen game both of the managers are going to be a huge part of that. Bob Melvin with Oakland rookie manager Aaron Boone has to manage this game a little bit differently or a lot differently than he probably would a regular season game or even a division series or an ALCS. Every move he makes we're going to be breaking right. down here Wednesday night after the game. And you think back to last year, Joe Girardi had a masterpiece of a managing, game, managing a game against the Minnesota Twins. Yeah, the intensity in this game will be more than any other postseason game that comes next for these teams until you get to your next do-or-die game. John is absolutely right. If the Oakland A's score two runs in the first inning, Yankee Stadium is going to be deflated. Then the Yankees hope that's temporary. Conversely, if the Yankees jump out and score three or four runs, their fans are going to get behind them. Oakland is going to have to deal with all of that. So everything that happens in this game is going to heighten the tension even more. I think the Yankees, like most teams, they'll go into that game with a script, and we'll have to see how much they can adhere to that script. I still think that the first name in that script is Luis Severino. We'll see if I'm right. John keeps saying it, the former catcher, and he's right. It's about who finishes this game. Right. How many outs is each bullpen going to get? It could be 15 outs, 18 outs. We don't know. That's why we're anxiously or eagerly waiting for Wednesday.